Hello friends, today we will see Butterworth filter transfer function. Butterworth transfer function H of S for normalized frequency omega c is equal to 1 is given by as shown in figure according to the value of n whether n is even or n is odd. Let's derive the Butterworth transfer function H of S. The magnitude square value is given by this formula. Now put omega c equal to 1 in the formula. So we have h j omega square is equal to 1 upon 1 plus omega to the power 2n. Now h of j omega square is written as h j omega into h of minus j omega. So h of j omega into h of minus j omega is given by 1 upon 1 plus omega to the power 2n. Now put s is equal to j omega. Also omega is equal to s by j. So our equation h of s into h of minus s is equal to 1 upon 1 plus s by j whole power 2n. Now 1 upon j is equal to minus j. So put in the formula. Now minus j square is equal to minus 1. So we have a h of s into h of minus s is equal to 1 upon 1 plus minus 1 raised to n s to the power 2n. So the poles of h of s and h of minus s is given by 1 plus minus 1 raised to n s to the power 2n equal to 0. See here the poles is given by the denominator. Now the poles for the value of n when n is even minus 1 raised to n become plus 1. So 1 plus s to the power 2n equal to 0. And if n is odd 1 minus s to the power 2n is equal to 0. Let's see case 1 when n is even. When n is even, the poles of h of s and h of minus s is given by 1 plus s to the power 2n equal to 0. So s to the power 2n is equal to minus 1 and s is equal to minus 1 to the power 1 upon 2n. Now minus 1 is given by e to the power j 2k plus 1 into pi. So put that value in the formula. Here the value of k ranges from 0 to 2n minus 1. Let's see the pole location for value n is equal to 2. So put the value n is equal to in the given equation and then put the value of k. For k equal to 0, the pole location become at e to the power j pi by 4. For k equal to 1, s is equal to e to the power j 3 pi by 4. For k equal to 2, s is equal to e to the power j pi by 4. And for k equal to 3, s is equal to e to the power j 7 pi by 4. Here figure shows the pole location. The poles located at pi by 4, 3 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. Here red color indicate right hand side of the S plane and the green color indicate left hand side of the S plane. As we know the poles in the left hand side plane will give the stable system. So we define the left hand side pole as a H of S. So right hand side pole become for the H of minus S. Here the figure shows the pole location for n is equal to 4. The poles are located at pi by 8, 3 pi by 8, 5 pi by 8, 7 pi by 8, 9 pi by 8, 11 pi by 8, 13 pi by 8 and 15 pi by 8. Total 8 poles, 4 poles for h of s and 4 poles for h of minus l. Here we can see that all poles are separated by 2 pi total radius of circle divided by 2n total poles. So all the poles are separated by pi by n. In this case it is equal to pi by 4. Now for the poles of h of s. So here we consider only the left hand side poles. So the total poles of h of s is equal to n. 
The poles of H of S lies in the left half of S plane. Poles in lower half of S plane is conjugate of upper half S plane. Here in figure we can see that the uh, pink color shows the conjugate of green color. All poles are separated by pi by n. The first pole in upper left half is located at pi by 2 plus pi by 2 n. So in upper left half all the n by 2 poles are located at pi by 2 plus pi by 2 n plus k pi by n where k is equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1. Now simplify the formula pi by 2 plus pi by 2n plus k pi by n. So pi is common out and take 2n as a LCM. So we have n plus 1 plus 2k into pi divided by 2n. Here k value ranges from 0 to n by 2 minus 1. Now we change the variable and the take the range of k from 1 to n by 2. So we replace the k by k minus 1 in the formula. So our formula become after simplification n plus 2k minus 1 pi divided by 2n by k equal to 1 to n by 2. So our transfer function h of s become from the pole location which is located at e to the power j n plus 2k minus 1 pi divided by 2n and its conjugate place which is e to the power minus j n plus 2k minus 1 pi divided by 2n. The value of k ranges from 1 to n by 2. So h of s become as shown in figure. Now for two conjugate poles e to the power j theta and e to the power minus j theta. If we multiply s minus e to the power j theta into s minus e to the power minus j theta which is equal to s square minus e to the power j theta plus e to the power minus j theta s is common out plus e to the power theta e to the power minus theta which is equal to s square minus 2s cos theta plus 1. Here e to the power theta e to the power minus theta become 1 and e to the power j theta plus e to the power minus j theta become 2 cos theta. So now put that value in the our transfer function. So we have a final transfer function h of s for the n even value as shown in figure. Now let's see case 2 for n is odd. When n is odd the poles of h of s h of minus s is given by 1 minus s to the power 2n equal to 0. So s to the power 2n is equal to 1. So s is equal to 1 to the power 1 upon 2n. Now 1 is equal to e to the power j 2k pi. So put that value in the formula. So we have s is equal to e to the power j pi k divided by n where k is equal to 0 1 up to 2n minus 1 total 2n values. Now let's see pole location for n equal to 3. So for k equal to 0, s is equal to e to the power 0 is equal to 1. For k equal to 1, s is equal to e to the power j pi by 3. For k equal to 2, s is equal to e to the power j 2 pi by 3. For k equal to 3, s is equal to e to j 3 pi by 3 is equal to e to the power j pi is equal to minus 1. For k equal to 4, s is equal to e to the power j 4 pi by 3. And for k equal to 5, s is equal to e to the power j 5 pi by 3. Here k equal, for k equal to 0, s is equal to 1. And for k equal to 3, s is equal to minus 1. So for odd value of n, we have always pole at 1 and at minus 1. Here figure shows the pole location. Red color indicate right hand side of the S plane and green color indicate left hand side of the S plane. Left hand side of the S plane give the stable system. So we will take the poles of H of S at the left hand side. Here we can see that we have the pole location at 0 angle and at pi angle. 
that means at exactly 1 and minus 1. Here figure shows the pole location for n equal to 5. So pole is located at 0, pi by 5, 2 pi by 5, 3 pi by 5, 4 pi by 5, pi, 6 pi by 5, 7 pi by 5, 8 pi by 5, 9 pi by 5 pi. Also the all poles are separated by pi by n. In this case it is pi by 5. Poles of H of S. So total pole of H of S is n. One pole is always located at pi. So S plus 1 is always one root. Poles in lower half of S plane is conjugate of upper half S plane. All poles are separated by pi by n. First pole in upper left half is located at pi by 2 plus pi by 2 n. So n minus 1 divided by 2 poles in upper left half are located at pi by 2 plus pi by 2 n plus k pi by n where k equal to 0 to n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. Now we simplify pi by 2 plus pi by 2n plus k pi by n where the pi is common out and 2n is take 2n as a LCM so we have n plus 1 plus 2k into pi divided by 2n k equal to 0 to n minus 1 divided by 2 to minus 1 again here we change the variable and put the value of k is equal to k minus 1 so k ranges from 1 to n minus 1 divided by 2 so our final equation become n plus 2k minus 1 into pi divided by 2n. So put that value in the transfer function. So we have one pole always at minus 1 which give s plus 1 factor and for remaining poles is at e to the power j n plus 2k minus 1 pi divided by 2n and its conjugate place at e to the power minus j n plus 2k minus 1 pi divided by 2 n. Now again s minus e to the power j theta and s minus e to the power minus j theta will give us s square minus 2s cos theta plus 1. So put that value in the h of s. So we have final transfer function h of s which is given in the formula. So in this way we derive the formula when n is even and when n is odd as shown in figure. Also we can uh, derive the pole location in another way. So the transfer function h of s is given by 1 upon s plus s1 s plus h2 up to s plus sn. So total n poles for h of s. All the poles are separated by pi by n as shown in figure. So we have all the poles s1, s2 up to sn which is separated by a pi by n. And the first pole is located in, in anti-clockwise direction from the pi by 2 at the distance pi by 2 n. So locate the first pole and then all other poles are located or separated by pi by n. So in this way we got all the pole location for h of s and from that we can find the transfer function directly without remembering the formula. Thank you.